So guys, there's a lot of stuff going on right now and today in this video I will explain to you what is happening with the current uh, game test API and what is what are they changing because all those changes are uh, affecting every game test script that is out there right now and well if you don't change them then your script or your add-on might not ending up working so yeah today I will explain to you what they are changing and how to fix it. So basically what Microsoft is trying to do or what they think is that uh, that game test is really well messed up and they want to like you know make it uh, more more like real applications or make the syntax more appealing for real applications and that's why uh, they are changing the AP uh, the, the, the module names because well they are more they are more of a standard than those ones that we have right now. If you like, um, if you're like ever coded with a Discord bot and had to use the Discord uh, JS API or whatever, it also follows this kind of pattern. And now they want to kind of adapt that general pattern and change their API to that. So what did change? First of all, the module names, then the module imports, and then if you want to use the eval or new function keyword, you also have to set the capability for script eval. So in your manifest under dependencies, instead of writing the normal module name, you're just gonna do module name and then the new module and then the version. Um, in the future versions, this number will update and you have to like increment this number. But uh, I'll talk about that later in this video. And at the bottom you can see here capabilities and script eval is set to true. I believe you can also do it, do it in this array thingy format. Uh, but I did it with the object here. Should also work. And yeah, that's for the uh, manifest. And for the imports, you normally would do import world from Mojang Minecraft, right? Instead, you would do at Minecraft dash server yeah, like this. So they're kind of teasing client modules with that because, well, there's a server, and if there's a server, there's a client. And if you want to see what you have to change for other modules, you can. I'll use this website. I will link them down in the description by the way and well you can see what you have to change here and they also changed the way to import stuff because uh, right now they uh, the script is starting from the behavior pack main folder but with the update it's gonna start from the current directory and yeah so back into our code you guys can see that instead of writing scripts, modules, we are just gonna reference the current directory because dot slash stands for the current directory if you guys didn't know. Instead of, you know, from the scripts folder or like from the behavior pack folder, we now can just use dot slash, which is actually better because um, as you can see, if I hover over those, it doesn't show me the file because it's an invalid path. But if I hover over those, you're gonna see it's a module and it will well list me the file which is so much better than the old system and I get the point why are they trying to change it and I feel like this is a lot better or this is a lot better than the old thingy here okay the next important thing is that they uh, removed the tick event but added a system event with a run property or a run method that will queue a function to the next tick which you can abuse to make your own tick event. But the weird thing is that the tick event is actually still in the beta. So even though it says that removed tick event, it still is in the game and in fact you can still use it. Use it. But I would uh, recommend using system.run because queuing a um, queuing a function to a next tick is just way better because it doesn't have to be well, run at the whenever it loads so it can be 
preloaded basically which kind of improves performance you can see an example here you have the tick event right but here you have a function that will just system.run and call itself and then call it once to well start the loop this definitely looks a lot worse than just the tick event but apparently it's better I don't know I didn't make any tests of it or something it just seems to be better but yeah they also changed the ID property to the type ID property because now the ID property is something else I don't know what it is or I don't know it's like a unique ID or something I'm not really sure but the important thing is if you're trying to get a item ID for example from an apple right Minecraft called an apple then you have to change the ID property to the type ID property again in my example I'm getting the item ID here but because we're in the new version we have to use the type ID because well that's the type ID of the item this will return the identifier and this will I don't know what return undefined or this weird unique ID thingy this also applies for entities and stuff so basically uh, you can see it here to what it applies to components to item stacks to blocks to entities there are some things that still have the ID property for the ID like uh, like a uh, block types or something but yeah I know if it's intentional or if it's just a mistake but just care for what you have to use the next thing they changed is they removed run command and replace it or not replace it or want us to use the run command async feature because um, I was being told that there was like uh, an issue with run command not being run at the at the right time so that's why we should use run command async uh, just because well I guess run command was too buggy or something I don't know I mean generally you should always use run command async but I feel like if you change or if you remove run command you can just re uh, rename run command async to just run command because well there is no normal run command so yeah mm, in the script basically if you use run command you have to change it to run command async <clears throat> with that being said you should always uh, avoid using run command anyways in this case I'm trying to set an action bar for the player right but this can completely be avoided without using a command by using on screen display and set action bar right just remove this and now we are using <coughs> the actual method it's a lot faster than actually running a command and it's just generally better than running a command and but also not change as much because who knows if they're gonna change run command again so yeah always use <coughs> the native method methods instead of running a command when you guys can and this is actually the last change right now basically they're talking about how the first modules are gonna be releasing to well the actual game without the experimental flag and they're also talking about that um, modules need to be or upcoming modules will have to be updated so for upcoming modules you will just increment this number depending on well which version of module you're gonna be choosing so keep an eye out on the latest module that is currently available so yeah um, this number is gonna be incremented like this I don't know if the next modules are already gonna be incremented or the newer version but I think so because well they talked about it on the website you can read through this if you want I will link uh, all of them in the description so yeah that's actually it but but 
we don't know if they're gonna change even more stuff. Those were just re re release notes for the preview and we don't know how long the preview will last. While I think that it's over, it might very well be not over and they will just randomly drop a patch like tomorrow or even today that will change again some stuff. I'll let you guys uh, up uh, I'll let you guys update it through my channel, either through the comments if it's a small thing or through another video if it's like a huge change. But yeah, thanks for watching, consider subscribing and bye!